Boston Celtics select Len Bias of the University of Maryland. He's the guy we wanted. We got him. He's going to play. Whatever you've heard about him on the floor, you would have rivaled Michael. And it's sacrilege to say anyone could have opposed that. From outside, and he got it. Len Bias with 29. Oh my! And he made the steal in a jam! What a play by Bias! Holy cow! present the trophy is the commissioner david stone david congratulations to the celtics in the city of boston 16 out of 40 the greatest winning tradition you did it with hard work and teamwork you've earned it it's yours enjoy it the 1986 boston celtics are one of the best teams of all time they beat the rockets in six games in the finals for the record 16th nba title as well as having one of the best regular season records ever, being one of only two teams to win 40 of a possible 40 on home games. They were led by an aging car that featured the reigning MVP Larry Bird, but the GM Red Auerbach knew this and planned ahead. In 1984, he traded away Gerald Henderson to the Supersonics for the first round draft pick in 1986. That pick turned out to be second, and for Red, there was only one man that stood out amongst all the others in the draft. That man was Len Bias. But why Bias, you may be asking? Bias was a 6 foot 8 small forward from Maryland, with his explosive dunks and his high release jump shot he could seemingly score at will, and was only getting better with age having increased his scoring load every year in college. Red had known about Len Bias for a while and even convinced Bias to stay in college for another year in 1985, which worked to great effect as Bias would have his best season yet, winning his second ACC Player of the Year award, while also leading the ACC in scoring with 23 points, 7 rebounds and a steal a game. He developed a close bond with Coach Lefty Drizel, who helped him realize his potential. I think Coach Drizel, he's a good inspiration for me because he's a, he's a workaholic. He's never satisfied and he always made me work. So I always come in on my own sometimes and just work just because working with him, it just rubbed off and I just worked a whole lot. And then I got my game to where I wanted it. He told me the things that I could do and he put a lot of faith in me and told me that I would be able to score and I would be able to rebound and I can do it. Bias had a lot of admirers, including Larry Bird and legendary Duke and Team USA coach Mike Krzyzewski. He said that Len Bias was one of the two best players he ever coached against. You might be able to guess the other one. Bias actually played against Jordan a few times in college, as well as at a camp while the two were in high school. Some even say that Bias was better than Jordan, as he was bigger, stronger, and equally as athletic. Now you may be thinking, why didn't Len Bias lead the Celtics into the future? Why have you never heard of him if he's supposedly Michael Jordan's equal? Now, from Television 9, Washington's news station, this is Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Dolan. I'm Andrea Rowan. A local success story took a tragic turn this morning. Len Bias, the Maryland University basketball star on his way to becoming a world champion Boston Celtic, died of an apparent heart attack today at Leland Memorial Hospital in Prince George's County. Len Bias died before he ever set foot on an NBA court. He'd been experimenting with cocaine when he had a heart attack. His death shook the basketball world so much that many players, including Charles Barkley, vowed to never touch cocaine out of fear of having a similar fate. Had he not died, he could have changed the whole landscape of the NBA, but Len Bias was reduced to a cautionary tale and remains one of the biggest what-ifs in Spartan history. We'll never know what Len Bias could have achieved in the NBA, but one thing that can never be taken away from him is that he is one of the greatest college players of all time. Energetic, poetic and athletic. You know I get down and dirty when it's time to set it. I'm tearing through, clean your scene like ammonia. I drown you, flood four corners, the perimeter. I wonder, cause earthquakes, bumps and lightning. You couldn't test the one and only Mike Titan. I fool rock, now you hear it, now you know it. The body of the life force came forth just to show us. Who 
crucial. Lyrical style ain't what it used to. Microphone check one two. I hit the atmosphere. Give MCs visions of comments. Technique hit by force the earth. I hit and bomb it. Immaculate conception with the weapon. Even in mind boggling forms to mental sections. Beats is cooked. Bass burning like it's lava. Throwing shit together more illa than magava. I never tire. Spirit live like a wire. I came to let you know fantasies burn like desires. Before I go on this mic, I show pity. Coast to coast, I whirlwind through cities. Yeah, I whirlwind through cities. Influential, scientifical power. My mental violence will shower, devour at a crazy rate.